Okay, so now that we have got the testing part covered, let's just focus our uh, you know efforts more into you know um, adding more functionality into our app. Before we do that, let's uh, focus a bit of uh, time into cleaning up our code and making it a little bit more modular and uh, reduce the redundancy in our code. So one thing that we had noticed that the templates that were given to us, uh, I think uh, the templates were there in uh, you know. the front-end instructions for the real world uh, where, from where I got all that stuff so there was this uh, you know home page uh, template which had some sample data so there is like an article preview there are two articles out there for preview stuff okay uh, if I just run my app right now I get here is uh, when I go to the home page of uh, the project right so uh, basically um yeah let's go back to the screen and let's see when i uh take a look at uh, the the template which has got this article preview two of them like this and if you look at uh, the uh, project if i go to my home page it shows these two sample articles okay uh this one uh one and two here now uh ideally what i want to have what i want to do is like i want to make an api call and i want to get all the articles in an array and i want to show all these articles on the screen now for that to happen i will have to repeat this part of the dom n number of times you know like every time for each article so uh if i turn this into a component it's going to reduce my efforts a lot so what i will do is i will take a look at my um, home page and here there is this uh, entire code for this article preview so there's this div and there's this div now these two which i just collapsed here so you know these two divs are exactly the same except the data so like the name and the date and the title stuff all of this changes like this a new name a new date and a new title and a new description but the component looks and feels exactly the same now uh, if i just uh, am able to you know turn this into a component and pass uh, the article as an object into it and it just renders using that object then i don't need to write this n number of times i just need to run it write it just one time that is where the concept of creating your own components come and help you now just like you know like we have done with the nav bar so here we have another component that we are going to use we are going to reuse a lot of times so to do is we will just uh, turn the article preview into a component and now my changed code is going to look a bit like this i will have a component called article preview dot view and this contains this article preview uh, part inside a template and instead of all of that hard-coded stuff there i'm using article.author.image article.author.username and stuff like that and i have this uh, you know prop called article okay so i've created a component which has a prop called article and uh, my article object how is it going to look like it's going to look like of course this uh, you know if i go to my uh, real world api spec so it's it's completely documented out there this is how my uh, api looks like this is my article object so my article object contains uh, the title the description then there is the author username and the author bio and the author image so this is the object i want to uh, take as a prop and i will show all of this stuff also like the date should look really nice like this it should uh, say you know uh, like it was it should uh, the date that comes in my api is a utc date format like this i users are not interested in looking at a date like that users are more interested in looking at a date which looks like this you know february 18th 2016 like that so i'll just use uh moment js moment is uh you know like the most famous library for dealing with dates and time and all those formats so we're going to use moment and uh, we'll be looking at how to format stuff in moment right um, so there are a lot of ways we can format our stuff so i select this format which is month uh, date with the uh, you know indicator of th uh, or something like that 
and the year so my date uh, looks like this when it's actually rendered like february 18th uh, 2016 like this uh, okay um what i'm gonna do is in my home page i will create an articles array now this is still hard-coded data it's not coming from the api but i have uh, taken this data from here multiple articles i've taken this array okay so i've picked this array put this here so this is the kind of object that i expect the api to send so i have this articles as an array like each object contains the title the description and the author username bio and all of that stuff and i uh, write here article preview and i put it inside v4 so that my article preview component will repeat as many times articles are there. So if there are like 10 articles, so it will come 10 times on my screen, right? Uh, so that's what the article preview component up there does. Okay. Now, next what I'm going to try and do is um, I will uh, I want uh, a key. Now, inside Vue.js uh, for loops, a key is supposed to be a unique identifier for the iterator so that Vue can, you know, reuse that component easily. So my key should be... Uh, a certain uh, key inside my object which uniquely identifies the article which in our case in this API is the slug so I'm gonna use the slug as the key okay and uh, since my article preview uh, component has a prop called article so I will pass the article object into the article attribute okay so I'll pass it into the article uh, DOM property Okay, so just like you said, class and ID and all of that stuff. Similarly, we can have our custom props and inside our custom props, we can inject the article into it. Okay, which means that in my article preview, this article object that I'm using, I'm using article.author.image and article.author.username. Where is this article object coming from? It's coming from the parent component. So the parent component is passing it into an object called article and I'm getting access to that. And here's how it looks like on my page now. I've got uh, how to train your dragons, how to train your dragons too. It has got all that stuff. It has got uh, Jake and it's got this, uh, you know, user image and all that stuff. How did it get out of that? Uh, because of uh, the data in my home. And if I like change uh, this to, like change the username to uh, Johnny, it'll just, uh, you know, change to Johnny up here okay so we are able to pass an array of articles and we are able to you know uh, get uh, this uh, rendered using an article preview component. So that's what is uh, you know great about having components we can take uh, repetitive code turn it into a component pass some data into a component and render the component as many times as we want to in our project so componentification again 